New details now in a Target 12 investigator's exclusive Left Behind. A bombshell report shows only about two out of five Rhode Island students in foster care graduate high school. That's based on brand new data from the Rhode Island Department of Education. I mean, it's disgusting. The results are absolutely disgusting. Target 12 investigator Tolly Taylor combed through the data. He joins us now with the details. Rhode Island has never before tracked educational outcomes for students in foster care until now. And results from over a decade of data shows more than half never graduate. For years, Rhode Island State Representative Julie Casimiro introduced a bill requiring the Department of Education and Department of Children, Youth and Families to work together to publish data for the first time specifically about how students in foster care are doing. In July 2021, it was signed into law. And now RIDE and DCYF have published an initial report. What's your reaction to learning that only two out of five students in foster care are graduating high school? That is abysmal. We need to take better care of these kids in foster care, and we're not doing it, we're failing as a state. The data shows that since 2010, only 44% of students in foster care graduated high school. That's compared to a 70% graduation rate for all public school students. Five districts had graduation rates below 40% for foster students, with Lincoln, East Providence, and Cherahoe at 37%, North Kingstown and Exeter West Greenwich hitting 33% and Woonsocket at just 24%. Woonsocket's at 23, 24%. That's horrible. We should be ashamed of ourselves. We're not doing anything right for these kids. Target 12 previously reported that of the 330 million American Rescue Plan Act dollars public school districts received, no districts plan to spend any ARPA money on students in foster care. Casimiro says that's salt in the wound for the 1,700 foster kids in the state's public schools. Not one dime went to kids in foster care to help them with education. Not one dime. Lisa Gallette, executive director of Foster Forward, says these vulnerable students need ARPA dollars urgently. I've been trying to have this conversation for 20 years. RIDE had the ability to, over 20 years, to know how subgroups of students were doing. In response, RIDE spokesperson Victor Morenti says, I can't speak for previous administrations, but RIDE recognizes the importance of partnering to gather this information and entered into a data sharing agreement with DCYF last spring. Morenti says without the agreement with DCYF, RIDE couldn't access the confidential information about students in foster care. The law also requires districts where foster kids are, quote, disproportionately failing to develop a remediation plan to fix it. Casimiro says now that the data is out, she expects every district in the state to do just that. With the Target 12 Investigators, I'm Tolly Taylor, 12 News.